Hey Blues guys and gals, for those that are new to the channel, welcome. And um, those that are my subscribers, welcome back. I'm Blues Guy, and today we're doing a review of this beautiful IYV guitar from Amazon. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I don't know if you can currently find this model on there, but it may be on there eventually. I'll take a quick gander at her, ladies and gentlemen. back it's got it's I think it's a three piece there's about um, three pieces of wood in the back here other than that everything is beautiful the paint job on the sides here wasn't either sprayed enough or it's just the wood grain in the back to me it looks a little bit off but other than that the bindings all perfect I got it recently set up by a local guy in my city And now everything is good. Everything's going good now. Um, it didn't come in the best shape. Uh, I had to replace the nut. Well, my, my luthier replaced the nut for me. And I had to get all the frets leveled and polished. And um, everything's really smooth now. But it does take a little bit of work out of the box. It doesn't come perfect. <clears throat> um, yeah, we can do a sound demo right now. I don't know what to tell you guys. I think the pickups sound really good for the price. Like um, the other IYV ILS 300 that was selling, the EMG Emerald Green. Um, I'm sure if you're watching this and you're an IYV fan, I'm sure you may have the uh, Emerald Green one. Um, I have that one also right here. If you guys want a quick comparison, I did a couple upgrades on this one. I threw some new tuners on this one and different pickups and a new pick guard. But um, I was thinking of keeping this one stock. For quick comparison, y'all, um, the body on the blue one, for some reason, it's wider, but this green one is heavier. The body end, sorry, the body and the neck is wider. It's thicker neck, a thicker C shape. I don't really know the, the names of shapes, but it's like a, it's a big handful. And this one's very thin. The green one's very thin neck. So uh, that's the differences. It's so weird. The green one's heavier, but it's thinner. The blue one's uh, lighter and it's thicker. I don't know what it is. <laughs> According to their ad, they're both mahogany. Um, I don't know what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I really like the look of this green one, like the flame and the maple. I think they did a little bit better job on the green one versus the blue. But I like the color of the blue one, don't get me wrong, but I like the maple flame on this one. So yeah, both of these needed a thorough setup. Um, yeah, it was a little bit of work to get them where I wanted them to be, but now uh, I'd say they play awesome. I couldn't compare it to a Gibson, to be honest, because I've never had or played a uh, Gibson. I don't even think I've ever played on a Gibson guitar. <laughs> so anyway, this is what I got, and this is what I'm making do with right now, and it's kicking. It's kicking. I'm loving it. Um, we can do a quick sound comparison of both of them if, if y'all would like to hear that um, You got any questions about this one? I mean, I don't know what to tell y'all about this one because it may not even be available on Amazon um, Again because there was only about three or four of them in Canada I think there was maybe ten for United States and they were gone in about a day So um, if you get the chance to get one I'd say it's worth it if you're either a Luther or you know somebody that can help you out um, I wouldn't say go for it for a beginner. These are not really beginner guitars because you're likely going to need to do something out of the box to make it the way you want it. Um, but yeah, the paint job on this one is so beautiful. I just love the paint job on this one. <clears throat> Plug her in with the uh, Donner 5 watt. I did one of my first videos ever. If you want to go back see Blues Guy, how we started out, what was that, two months ago? <laughs> yeah. So, um, I know they say it's good to test amps, or sorry, pickups on a clean channel. Personally, I say if it can't handle gain, you know what I mean? How's it supposed to rock and roll, right? So, let's turn up the volume and max out the gain on this thing and see if she squeals.
Sounds good to me. All right, let's see a clean channel here. Fender modeling channel. I got a quick tip for anybody <clears throat> with the bridge position here. So my Luther, when I first gave it to him, he put some tape underneath there on the poles because it was uh, wobbling about, wobbling back and forth, right? It wasn't secure very much in the body because the hole cutouts in the body were too big for the bridge post, okay? So some people like to put tape in there or fill the gaps or whatever, right? Um, when I first told him to put the tape on, I noticed after that the sustain was gone, the notes weren't ringing out as clearly. They're good now. It rings out forever for days, but initially when um, he put that tape on here, it stopped having sustain. And then I, I asked him to take the tape off, and then we took it off, and everything was ringing out perfectly again. So, just a, a little tip there. And maybe there's another, um, something better. If somebody knows what to use on your bridge posts if they're wobbly leave a comment you know maybe there's something else besides tape that we could use you know what I mean um, yeah so I think sustain is a very important part in playing guitar especially rock and roll in the blues because it's not always about playing fast sometimes it's about hitting that one note and just letting it ring you know what I mean or that one chord and just letting it ring for a bit so anyway the knobs are very clean on this. There isn't no scratchy pots. Sometimes you get guitars and they need a little bit of cleaning. You just spray some electronic cleaner in there, but the pots are all clean and they're not rubbing against the body. They're, they're pretty flush. They're nice. <clears throat> um, should we play a tune? Let's play a tune. Bad Blues guys and gals, let's play a little song on the uh, clean channel, which I don't normally do on Totally Clean, but we'll just do it for the sake of the demo of this video. Okay, you go in middle position, use both pickups. Everything maxed out. <clears throat> Down there. 
we're going to turn it up a notch. Dirty tunnel. Honestly, I have like $400 Canadian in this guitar at this point. $400 Canadian. So, I mean, an Epiphone, I think the Epiphone Muse, M-U-S-E. -E, it looks like this one kind of. It's blue. I think it runs for about 700 Canadian. And, you know, Epiphones don't always come perfect either. You might have to upgrade the nuts or, um, you know, they come with plastic nuts a lot of the time. And things of that nature. And uh, you might have to upgrade Epiphone pickups, you know. So, um, yeah. It's just the brand name. If you're willing to sacrifice, like the Epiphone or the Gibson, whatever brand name, you know, it's IYV, right? Not many people like resale value unless you know, like, about these guitars. There is a little bit of a cult following for these. But otherwise, um, you know what I mean? Uh, it's not going to have much resale value because they ain't a Gibson. To be honest with you, it's just not a Gibson. It's great guitar. It's just not a Gibson. It's just not... You know, there's a reason they're, there's a reason Gibsons are two thousand dollars plus, right? There's, they're not just marketing like, they, they're the ones that started it all. All these other companies are technically just copying what they did. You know what I mean? Like, this IYV company obviously didn't design the shape of a Les Paul. <laughs> so credit to Gibson, credit to Gibson, you know, for um letting all these companies come come after you you know and showing us leading up leading the path basically for the way of um future guitars now they're able to build them cheaper and just copy exactly what they did but if it wasn't for les paul and the gibson company in the first place you know these guitars wouldn't exist to be honest they wouldn't exist if it wasn't for gibson so all right let's get a comparison with the uh, green iyv so a little up close for y'all like I said, I really like the flame on this one. If this video is going on too long, you know what I mean? Skip forward, skip backward, um, watch the parts you like, skip the parts you don't like, you know what I mean? I'm not going to hate you for it, but I do appreciate the ones that are uh, tagging along watching this with your, your coffee or your beer or your whatever you're doing, you know? Thanks for coming along and enjoying your day with me. <laughs> Alright, we're going to start this one on the uh, clean again. And mind you, these are upgraded pickups. Well, I, call, I say upgraded. They are these pickups are from China. Also, they're fluor. No, I shouldn't say also. The guitar is from uh, Vietnam, but these um, pickups are fluor, F L E O R, and they are from uh, China. But they're supposed to like copy <laughs> Seymour Duncan sound. So uh, I didn't want to pay you know three hundred dollars for the Seymours at the time. Anyway, let's get the clean sounds.
So I can already tell these ones are a little bit louder, these pickups. Some technical difficulties there. Um, we're going to turn up the gain and see how she sounds, okay? Stick around if you want to, and um, if you want to check out some other reviews or covers, you know, to make sure you take a look at my other videos, my playlists. And we're going to do an outro right now with some effects. guys and gals that sums it up for the review today um, we had the IYV ILS 300 ocean blue and the IYV ILS 300 EMG emerald green all right y'all I had fun I hope you enjoyed it and uh, take care of yourselves <laughs> love you I'll see you later